You have an idea that will ultimately impact patient care. Great. How do you put your thoughts into a plan that shows the value and commercial potential of your idea? Fast Forward Medical Innovation has a template to walk you through the key components of building a short, persuasive presentation. Follow along by downloading the template below. Feel free to adjust this to the specifics of your life science innovation. First is a template to introduce your team. This template is designed to have five minutes of content, so after this slide, the total presentation should take five minutes or less. The first content slide describes the problem or opportunity. Define the outcome or situation that you wish to change. What you seek to disrupt can also be framed as an opportunity. It doesn't have to be a problem or something that's broken that needs to be fixed. Instead, it can be something that is missing or a preferable alternative. Here is an example of a brief statement. Puppies are whining because they're hungry. Periodically, there is no food because the owners forget to buy puppy chow. Next, describe who the customer or stakeholder is. Who is going to benefit from the change that you propose? The stakeholder is going to be benefiting. This could be a patient, faculty, the resident, a hospital system, etc. In this case, it will be three yellow lab puppies, currently 11 weeks old, in the household of Dr. Smith. Keep this brief but detailed. This statement quantifies and specifies, so three yellow lab puppies, 11 weeks old. Next is the solution. How do you propose to change the outcome or situation that exists now? What is the form of your proposed solution? Is it a product or service, a process, or a policy? The example here is an automated purchase of puppy chow for home delivery. Remember to keep this concise. Now present the value as briefly as possible. Describe the benefit of making the proposed change. What is the magnitude of the value or benefit? Why is this compelling? Following the example of the puppies, the puppies will no longer whine from hunger. Dr. Smith can avoid making one to two extra trips per week to buy food. The Smith family will have more time to enjoy frolicking with their puppies. Specifics here are one to two extra trips, not just extra trips. This gives a way of quantifying the value and makes it more relatable for the audience. On the next slide, list some of the advantages of the solution. Why is the solution better? Following the value proposition formula, define a solution which is not just a change, but one that is better and compelling. Why is the proposed change going to be an improvement? What is the competitive advantage? Next, describe what data you have collected to support the assertion that the proposed change will be an improvement. For example, one to two trips can be saved. How was that data collected? What reference can you give to that data? Next is a summary table of stakeholders who are affected, the feature of the solution, and the benefit that the feature provides. This can be very helpful in describing to the audience what exactly you're proposing to do, why it is going to help, and who it is going to help. Keep it simple, not too data rich. This should read at a glance and be presented quickly. Following the example of the puppies, the first stakeholder here is the puppies. The feature is that they're going to now have a regular supply of puppy chow and their benefit will be full bellies. What is measurable positive outcome of this change? The owner is the next stakeholder. This is Dr. Smith. The feature is home delivery instead of having to frequently buy puppy chow from the store. And the benefit is simplifying shopping and saving him time. The third stakeholder here is the Smith family. These are the owners and their children. No feature for them because they are just enjoying their puppies. The benefit is that they're going to enjoy their puppies more because there will be less whining and more frolicking, which will bring more joy and interaction with the puppies. You want to use the least number of words possible so that it can be viewed at a glance by the audience and presented quickly. Now consider feasibility. What data have you collected regarding the feasibility of the proposed change? What challenges or obstacles might you face, and how can they be addressed? In some cases, you may only know the challenges and the obstacles and have an idea about how they can be addressed. Next is the approach. The approach is the process which is going to be used to develop and implement the proposed change. If this were a commercial presentation, this would be the business plan. In this case, describe how the proposed changes will be made, who needs to be involved, what are the steps required, and what is the timeline to completion. Will future recurring actions be required? Here, outline the requirements or the ask. Describe which resources will be required in order to follow through on the approach. This could include personnel, funds, or facilities, and sometimes policies have to be changed. Remember, the shorter the better. If there's time, an additional slide to add would be a value proposition summary. You have outlined a deconstructed value proposition already, but it's helpful to be able to quickly demonstrate the value proposition. This is essentially an elevator pitch. 
Another useful slide that can be filled out is the alternatives. In the commercial space, this would be called the competitive landscape. How is the problem currently being addressed? For example, if the problem is that patients are waiting too long in the waiting room, describe how the waiting room is currently being managed. Make sure to keep this short. Another optional slide is other validation. You are collecting data along the way to validate and support the elements of your value proposition. So what data has been collected about the customer, about the problem, about the solution? Last is the criteria for success as an optional slide. Here you want to be able to explain to an administrator if the change was going to be enacted, how would progress be measured? It's helpful to find the threshold for a successful outcome for future evaluation. For example, this solution would be a success if it could affect 25%, 50%, or maybe 75% of customers. To wrap up the presentation, make sure to repeat the team title and team members and allow the audience plenty of time for questions.